Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll explain you what are conditions, expressions, and operators. Okay, they are basic components of a WHERE clause, and a WHERE clause is a very important uh, tool when you write a SELECT statement, or UPDATE statement, or DELETE statement. Okay, any SELECT, UPDATE, or DELETE without a WHERE clause uh, could be very dangerous in terms of uh, the whole table would be either modified or large amount of data would be retrieved. So where clause is a very important thing when writing select statements or you know update or delete statements and conditions, expressions, and operators are important components of a where clause. Okay, so you need to understand what a condition is. Okay, so topics include condition, expression, and operator. Okay, so condition is uh, basically condition consists of expressions. Uh, joined together uh, by operators okay so you apply one expression you apply one operator between the two expressions and it would basically result in either true or false okay the whole uh, all the expressions and operators together is called a condition so let me give you a few example okay for example if your rear clause uh, contains this condition where ID is greater than 12 then there are two expressions separated by an operator okay although ID is simply a column name okay but it could be this column name itself is a kind of a simple expression but it could be large expression as well I'll, as I'll explain you in coming tutorials okay so ID would be an expression 12 would be an expression and a comparison operator here is greater than sign okay so uh, you should start uh, reading things in terms of expression and operators since the beginning okay so that will give you a more command on writing select a where clause because where clauses will become very complicated as I will show you in coming tutorials they can become long so you should be able to mentally break them down into expressions and operators okay so understanding these small uh, components is very important so now whenever you write a condition that would consist of expressions and operator okay uh, this condition would be applied against uh, each record in the table for each record the result would be either true or false okay so only those rows or those records will be displayed in the final result that qualifies uh, against uh, against uh, whom the result was true okay so let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna pause here the presentation let me go to the actual uh, Oracle Express screen where I can show you some example so let me log in uh, what was my username I think it was Hassan hmm I don't even remember my username uh, let me okay let me quickly create let me quickly log in as sysadmin to see what my username was and guess what I c uh, system sorry I'm confusing between Oracle applications login and Oracle Express login okay so let's see what my username was hmm. Hassan Mir okay so let me log in as Hassan Mir never work as system okay and I don't even know my password wow sorry about that okay so here I am Okay, so let's create a table quickly. So let's go with the same example. Contact is our table. We have a couple of columns like ID would be the primary key column. Unless I'll talk about the primary keys in coming tutorials. So I'm just going to create column without declaring it as a primary key for now. Let's have instead of first name last name, let's combine that and we don't want to store first name last name separately and let's say we, w we have one column name 
that's fine it all depends on the business requirement right if you are fine with name then you don't have to break it as first name last name so uh, here we are creating a this table just for you know learning purposes so this should be fine now let's have uh, day contact number so day phone it's also voucher too we will be storing alphanumeric here and evening phone I think this should be fine okay so let's create this table statement running table created okay so let me insert insert into contact values so this is my name one two three four five six one two three four five six so this is my contact info I have same day and evening numbers let me too many values oh because we have only one name column okay so let's insert two more records we like to include Larry Ellison in every example so let's say he has different evening and day and evening numbers and why should we forgot forget about Bill Gates okay he's also an important figure like Hassan Mir and Larry, Larry Ellison just joking so alright so we have three records so let's quickly uh, look into all the records from the table so let's start from contact okay contact what's wrong with me today okay so this is our table okay so now I'm gonna go back to my our slides okay where ID is greater than 12